Hello, this is Mr. Umi1974, and welcome to MP Craft. Now, first off, I'm um, going to tell you what MP Craft is. MP Craft is a server hosted by one of my friends, someone I know, or a friend, um, and he had asked me to come onto the server uh, and build a few mob spawners for him. Um, but he didn't want them all at the spawn point. Uh, he wanted them a little bit further away. So I'm like 8,000 blocks from spawn. About. Um, it's starting to get night here. Um, and we've been doing some running around and looking for a good spot. This is the area we that was picked um, from the guys on the server. Now, I'm going to run inside real quick and sleep. Mm, come on. It's night yet? But the idea is that they asked me to set up the certs. I'm sorry. They asked me to set up the spawners. Now, one of the things that we did do is find a witch hut, um, which I will show you shortly here, as soon as it will be daytime again. Um, and go. Now, a few things you need to know about witch huts. Uh, first off, they are a place where witches spawn. Um, which is drop uh, potion, sugar, redstone, glowstone, that type of stuff. Um, they're not your typical mob spawner, like there's a cage or anything there. Um, it's just the hut. Um, you need to be aware of... So it's more of a biome thing. So the witches will spawn in the hut in the swamp. And you want to make sure that all of your hut is actually in the swamp. Now, from what I understand, uh, this hut, by the looks of it, will spawn um, th two to three, I think maybe two, three levels. Um, one of the things that they don't tell you, and unfortunately I am in... Um, Creative. I'm not in creative. I'm in survival, so I have to do this the hard way. Um, is if you look at the top of the roof, nothing will spawn on the roof top itself. So nothing should spawn up here, in theory. Um, but that's the way it's supposed to be. So your spawner should be basically the entire outline of this building. Um, that's your spawning box for your witches. Now, they share them. They spawn on the mob cap, hostile mob cap. So you basically have to light up 128 blocks all the way around this building, uh, all the caves, and flatten out the ground and all that stuff, or put blocks on the ground or torches so mobs don't spawn. Um, that way uh, you're able to focus all the uh, mob all the spawns into this hut so just the, mo the mobs will just spawn here so but this is the inside of a witch hut you find a cauldron um, workbench a mushroom in a pot and yeah uh, also this these two corners will spawn um, so out on the mez so really, out here, I wish I had some wool, um, 
Let me see. I wonder if I got some nether rock or something. So I can diagram the spawn box. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, I put a outline everything inside this frame is spawning area. And I mean inside as in the top of this dirt. Not below it. The top of this here. So anything on the outside layer is not spawn area for the witches. Now, and when I said need to clear out 128 blocks, that's kind of a misnomer. You need to actually have the area cleared around the player 128 blocks. So if you are standing directly underneath the spawner, let's say I'm standing exactly here in the spawner, it's going to have to be 128 blocks that way, 128 blocks that way, 128 blocks that way to mi maximize the spawn in here. Um, that's just how the spawn dyna dynamics works. Uh, if, let's say, I was studying here, um, so in order to pr make all the mobs spawn in there, would have to be within 128 blocks from where I'm currently standing. Now there are a few other things like you want to have this in here probably about you want to be standing away from it about 24 blocks. Um, and actually you want this area 24 by 30 if you can help it. So, ideally, this is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 blocks that way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 this way. Wait, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hmm. 7 blocks this way. Um, so ideally you want to be standing on this side of the witch hut. The reason why I say this side because the way the spawning dynamics work that's going to put as mo many blocks as possible in the 24 to 32 block range. Actually, I don't think it matters because 24 to 32 is 8. So either way, um, it should be okay. Now that I thought about it. <laughs> so that's basically the spawning mechanics behind a witch hunt. So I am going to be trying to uh, get this area set up. Oh, another thing is, like I said, 24 blocks around the player you want to have lit up. That we all, This, in order to get it spawn in the day, we probably want to have a roof over it, 15 blocks in each direction, so this is dark. Um, and, yeah, and you don't really want this frame... Uh, because in trees or anything in there you want on each spawning pad you want no blocks around it um, that way uh, most of the spawn will f focus in the spawner um, because mob spawn isn't determined off of air blocks it's basically well the solid ground underneath the air blocks that it checks It basically checks for the solid block and then sees whether there's room above it to uh, put the spawn in. Now, I'm going to get back to my bed here and hmm, light source. Um, try to get it back today and I'm going to start working on
getting the roof and stuff set up on this thing and see you then. Hello, this is Mr. Umi and I'm back. Um, let's see. Uh, we, like I said, we're going to start working on the roof for the uh, spawner, which witch hut spawner. Um, we needed to be 15 blocks. Ooh, creeper. Creeper, 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 creeper. Come on, creeper. Uh, need to be 15 blocks out from the edge of the spawner, not the center. So it's going to be a pretty big platform, and we'll probably want to set it up so we can... Uh, have no mobs spawn on top of it, which means we'll either have to put water or half slabs on top or torch it up. So, I've already covered up pretty much the top of the spawner, so we need to be 15 blocks out. Just to be easy, I'm going to use full stacks, 16 um, from here. Actually, I'm going to do it 15 from outside that area just to be on the safe side and just going to build out now this is going to eat up a lot of blocks so, started planning another spawner over there, and it's an underground one, so I'm using that kind of as a quarry right now to supply the block blocks for this. So, and I'm just going to run out on each side here. This one's already to the edge. Um, so I have some idea how long it's going to be. I was thinking about taking out 24, but I don't know. That's not really necessary. Um, the amount of blocks that this is going to inf that I'm going to put in for like look make this look like it's supported re won't really affect the spawning rate too much. Um, I am actually starting to wonder whether this uh, witch hut is broken though, because. I have yet to see a witch spawn in it, so hopefully all this effort is, is for nothing. <laughs> so, whoops, and I think I just goofed up. Oh. And I need one more on the end of this, just to be safe. I should really bring that out all the way first. So, I think I might just do that. Bring these out real quick. my stairs. Um, get that in, bring that down, bring out the last one. So this gives me an idea. What I got. So, that's about it. Um, let me finish this off and we'll see what we get later. Hi, I'm back. Um, pretty much got the roof complete, 16 blocks out. I've decided I'm going to actually take it out the full 24. Um, you only need about 15 blocks out though from the outer edge of the spawner. Um, I have proven that the spawner actually does spawn witches. There's one, two, 
two right there. That's the most I've seen in one spot. However, also is currently spawning mobs. The top of the hut doesn't is um has been confirmed it does not produce witches. Um, I built this roof just a tad taller to confirm that. And it looks like this very bottom also doesn't put out witches. So I'm going to try lighting this up and modifying the spawner real quick. Um, it's currently not set up anyways because I have no way to get the mobs out so I can kill them or get them out to have them killed. Uh, haven't decided which I'll do yet. Um, because witches heal, I might just have it go to a drop spawner and let them die as such. Uh, let me see. Like I said, bottom row, skeletons. <laughs> So I'm going to try raising this up just one. So I'm going to light this up too, so hopefully I don't die. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're after me. The witches. done. And I've got two witches upstairs. Try and, whoa. Ooh, poisoned again! Yay! Wonderful. And that's basically going to take me all the way down. Witches are nasty. <laughs> and I'll be Hello, this is... I'm back. Hello, this is... I'm back. No, actually I'm back. Um, managed to clean out the spawner of witches and mobs. Um, there's a couple changes that need to be made here. Uh, found out that, well, the bottom post was not exactly the... Um, how should we say? Bottom of the spawner? Because <laughs> I had some skeletons and stuff in there and didn't have anything... Uh, spawn that should have been in here. So what I'm going to do is grab a bunch of spruce for wood and we are going to basically line the bottom of the spawner with spruce wood. Um, so actually and hopefully this will actually get it back into the spawning zone which it should. Um, so, boom, 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 boom. Don't really care what's underneath this quite at the moment. Um, so, yeah. Now that I got... Now that this is filled in, I need to get up top. And, ooh. Now well, I think I'll just risk it. And, um, this isn't the up top that I'm talking about. This is. So, I'm going to get the old X out. Take this down. And what I am going to do here is I found that this area is also spawning mobs, and instead of like putting water or something on it, what I'm going to do is take. Oops. Ew. Um. Yeah. What I <laughs> was intending to do. Was hoping down a little. Get in 
here. Ah, there is a workbench. Was going to take. This proposes an interesting problem. Um. Zombies. Well, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Figured out what I was going to do. You see, this here is the bottom of the, the floor of the old hut. This is that platform I put in. Um, these are actually the logs here are actually the old supports. And uh, basically... I'm going to take some water, run it around here, and have the drop on hmm, this side. Um, probably like right here. So that looks about right. Doesn't look right on here because these posts aren't right. But so drops going to be here. And what I'm going to do is funnel the mobs this way down to the drop, possibly, um, depending if I can get the water to work, which I should be able to do. It shouldn't be that hard. Um, I'm going to go get a bucket, and I'll be back. Okay, I got my water and I'm back. I dug a too deep trench all the way around. And the idea behind this is that's going to give us the ability to support... to move the mobs to the drop. Uh, however, this top platform has to be three blocks from the top, or from a drop point. So, how I'm going to do that is basically this is the center. I am going to put a source of water here. And this water source here is what the mobs are going to drop into. Boom. Now <clears throat> I'm going to put a couple of these in. and use them to move the mobs around. Actually, I'm going to start on this one here because this is a good spot to start. Now, right there is going to be my drop, so I'm going to take a sign. This is a sign. And put it there. Boom. And one there. So, they'll be able to drop down. Any mobs in here will be pushed this way. Now, also going to put a sign underneath this water, or actually, probably not a sign. I will probably put, since I've got a stair, or a, actually a wood block. Eh, actually, I think I'm, I am going to put a stair there. Kind of makes more sense. Is it half block? It gets some. Actually, a half block would be ideal. Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, that's what I'll put there. But that will get this water moving. Um, now I want to have about two blocks on each side of water, so that gives more options for the uh, um, mobs to get in. And like I said, I need some half blocks uh, now that I'm thinking about it. 
Let me go get those half blocks, and it's getting night again, so it's getting dangerous to be here anyways, so I'll go sleep. Be back. Okay, now as I was saying, now that I have some half slabs, um, I want to have about two blocks of water on each side, so I have to convey these mobs around. Ideally, you would want to have them go in the same direction. No, I think I was going to, I'm going to go back with the original design with one bucket of water here and a half slab below it. That being the reason because that means I can put a sign here, a sign here. And a half slab here, and a half slab here. Then another bucket of water here. Oops. And here. Means I got three pieces of water on this side that gives more than enough to move these mobs. Um, the idea is mobs from top will jump in here, be pushed, be pushed onto this one, and keep on moving. So, take this down, and this one down. I don't want any water over that, so I'm going to leave that sign in place. Um, and I want about two blocks of water on each side. Uh, so, one, two, one, two. So, one here. Whoops. So, one, two. So, I'm going to place a sign here. Half slab there. Water block. And... Sign. Yeah, sign here. Half slab there. Uh, another water block. Do the same thing on this. I think the sign was here. Done. Whoops. Don't like letters on those. Just a OCCD thing with me. Don't like letters on signs if I can help it. Uh, so, sign there. Done. Half slab. Another water block. Grab some more water. Uh, Sign there, half slab here, water block. Um, grab some more water. Mm. Sign here, half slab there, water block. That may be a problem. I don't know. Hmm. Have to watch that. <coughs> yeah, that was sign here. Half slab and water block. <coughs> that gives the mobs more pathing options to get off. So hopefully they'll take them. Um, next thing I'm going to do is 
do the the walls here uh, so they can't escape on me. I'm probably going to do. Uh, I don't want to do. I may do glass paint pane. Not that I really want glass pane. Probably want glass. We'll see. Um, I do want glass. It just glass block would work better because it would keep mobs in the water stream. They wouldn't be able to jump on the ledge. So I guess I'll have to do glass. Um, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And I've gotten most of the uh, glass up and the frames in and the outside of the building. Uh, you don't want to do this decorative stuff if you're looking for optimum efficiency. I'm not, so it's like, okay, just put it as, as it was, as it is. But, uh, next thing is we need to make the drop tube. Drop tube, you're going to want to be about 20 blocks deep, if I remember correctly. But, you actually want to be 23 blocks deep, because that way you can stand down by the drop room, down in the drop room and collect the drops. Um, whether it be underneath the pad or whatever. Um, basically, this is going to be our drop shaft. And then out here, somewhere about here, I'm going to put the um, entrance into this. Uh, so, let's get building. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is start digging the drop tube. And I'm just going to basically convert all this stuff here, see, to cobblestone. The reason being, um, it, if I ever dig around underneath this thing, it's going to be a heck of a lot easier to identify uh, what's um, what I should be. Uh, one thing that you should never do is what I'm doing right now, and that's digging uh, straight down. So. <laughs> It can be rather deadly if you're not careful. Um, and I'm going to get the next four blocks down, or a couple blocks down. Yeah, it looks safe, so boom, fill this in, fill this in. Um, that needs, this one needs to come out. Well, Pretty much, that's all that is to the drop shaft. It's just digging a hole straight down, and I'm going from the top plat, the bottom platform was 23 or 63, and I want to go down to 20, uh, 39. And the reason that is so that I'm 24 spaces away. Uh, that way, it's the spawners within the optimum spawning zone. Um, so. Let me get to it, and when I'm done, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. This is uh, level 39. Now, what I'm going to do is, I've got a torch. Where that torch is, I'll place a hopper. Um, I'm going to take these two chests and place them like this, and then take that torch out and place a hopper against the shift clicking place that hopper against the uh, uh, chest so anything that does fall in here should die and the items are automatically placed in the chest for safekeeping now I'm going to light this room up real quick here, put a couple torches, and dig to the surface. Um, I'll catch you then. Okay, I had a few problems. One, 
the witches were not dying at the 24 height. I had to look it up, and again, the reason why is because witches have um, 26 health versus 20, so you need to drop like down to here, which is. So you need to drop at least 26 blocks, probably 28 to be safe. Um, which means I'm having some problems with actually getting stuff. And I'm starting to wonder, maybe there might be a problem where I'm breaking items. I'm not too sure. I did get some stuff. Um, I got some glowstone, some gunpowder, some eyes, a bunch of glass bottles, a potion of healing. So it works, but the efficiency isn't there. The other reason the efficiency might not be there is, and when I dug down, I found this rather, not that you can see it, but it's a rather big chasm. And I mean, rather big chasm directly underneath the spawner. So, I gotta light this entire thing up. <laughs> that may help. <laughs> As of right now, eh, I'll be happy with what I've got. <laughs> well... Until next episode, which hopefully I'll either be working on the other spawner or I'll be working on some improvements for this one, like putting in a potion room, because that's the whole point of the witches, is to get glass bottles and stuff so you can make potions. Um, and possibly some type of area for storage for the things that are collected. Um, yeah. Uh, have a good day, and hopefully you'll join me in the next video or episode. Bye.